Okay. So you want to buy shorty first round? Oh no. No, 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 no. I think the starting of the game was like very poor, but um, once you switch to attack, it's all better. There. If you feel like buying light shield. Oh, buy shield. Yeah, buy shield. Is there someone in the tree over there? placement pre round two. Uh, no they, they were... There's no quarters yeah. on the floor. I think, yeah. Wait, if you sage wall that, can we jump over it? Prove it. Let me pause here for a second and ask you, what are you thinking? Um, the wall? Like, if there is enemy there, I was thinking to do the sage wall here. Also, can you move your mic a little bit closer? It's like, your voice is a little muffled. Oh, is it my fault? Is it better now? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, okay, can. Okay. Just wanted to be crystal clear, so it's no okay. confusion. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, but I was saying that like I wanted to wall there if there's enemy there. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I was thinking. Okay, are you gonna wall immediately? Are you gonna wall in 5 seconds, 10 seconds? Are you gonna wait to wall? What's the thought process? Oh, I was thinking like, uh, once I hear the footstep, I can just wall. Like, once I hear the enemy footstep, I just, just put out the switch wall. Yep. Okay. And then follow up, once the wall goes up, are you gonna stand on the wall or not stand on the wall? Uh, no. Okay. And then last question, if they start breaking your wall, what do you do? Um, move back, I guess, because I don't have my slow wall. Yeah. Okay, so like you just like just hug your wall and just play off of it? I think I move to shower. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... All these questions so far, like, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just, for now, I'm just trying to gauge your thought process and make sure that you're, you're thinking about all these possibilities and that you're, you're thinking about if this happens, then I do this, or if that happens, then I do this, or I think that or I have all these options and I can pick one of these options. Okay. Okay, Ken. Okay. So we'll see how this plays out. Oh, they can't jump it. So he's climbing. That's not fun. Two things so far is that one, your crosshair is not really head height. Like this whole time here is like kind of just not fun. in the stomach height. Second thing yeah. I'm saying is that your your mouse sensitivity is like really high, or all the words like your your mouse is like really jittery, and it's probably because your mouse sensitivity is extremely high. Yeah, <laughs> I will find a like a level that. I would want to play with, like, the sensitivity, but I'm still trying to adjust. Okay. They probably just lost due, due to mechanics, but Climate again, like, fun. two things, crosshair placement yeah. and sensitivity, like, just yeah. like here, for example, here you're, you're holding this angle and you're also pushing at the same time, and as you're doing it, just like, look at the distance of your crosshair to the corner, that it keeps changing, right? It's It's not really smooth right yeah so i think something you can work on for now is that whenever you're um whenever you're pushing to an area and then you're holding your crosshair on a corner keep that distance exactly the same as you're pushing okay right so right here it's about let's say this distance is like 10 pixels yeah 10 to say this is 10 pixels at this point, okay, we're clearing the other corner. Now it's way more than 10 pixels. Now this is like 20 pixels. And here, okay, now we go back 10 pixels. Then here, now it's like 5, maybe 7. Now it's like 20 pixels, 30 pixels, right? You see like how how much uh, variance there is when you're trying to keep your cross here on, on, on a corner. Okay. So now, crosshair placement. 
second bullet point is like um like smoothness of your aim. Probably probably your mouse sensitivity is way too high. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, sounds like me. Spike down B. I like your reaction here. Also, I also really like that you're able to see the whole mini map. So you got the information. And you realize that this action happened in B short. We decided to rotate. Let me pause here for a second. It's like here we're running for night faults, we're running for night faults. And then suddenly we decide to start walking with our gun out. What, what are you thinking here? Uh, cause like, I scared the enemy will like push out from out. I didn't really see the mini map though. So. Yeah. Hmm. If you come here, I will just start walking. Hmm, okay. Then let's go back to yeah. here. So here we're taking we're gonna wall it uh, and then so suddenly like, we shift we we switch on it like felt and we start running we start running toward b what are you thinking here they rotate to b because they are there okay yeah okay makes sense so we want to rotate to b because there's a bunch of noise happening at b so then we decide to run and then while this is all happening, like let's say you get to this point here, what are, what are you thinking? Has anything changed? No, like my thought was just like to get to be ASAP because it seems like they are all there and like it's three to four people there. Okay. So here I want to propose a a a concept that um, that while you're rotating, like this whole rotation here is like pretty safe. Right? It's like through lamps. And then, then you're here, now you're going to CT, right? That there's no way that you could be in any sort of danger, that's why you have your knife outs. That you're not really yeah. expecting a gunfight anywhere here, anywhere here. So that this entire time you're, you're rotating, I want you to keep your your attention focused on the minimap. So that you can maximize your awareness. Okay. Okay. So, during rotations, Especially fast or fast or safe rotations, keep your attention focused on the minimap. Like generally speaking, you don't really need to like spend too much attention just like looking at where you need to go because like you know you don't need to clear any of these angles here. You don't need to clear any of like you know, anything here. You don't need to clear any angles and CT spawn. So therefore. All of your attention can just go to the map, and then you can just like look at where are my where are my teammates' positions, and then what are they looking at, and what do they see, or okay. what, what they and also what they don't see, right? So even like let's say in this situation where it's paused, that automatically we see that the uh, our team has killed two people. We have a bomb down inside inside hookah. And we have a race who's peeking aggressively to be short. Right now, she doesn't actually see anything. And we have two more teammates inside Hookah. And lastly, we have an Astra watching in, inside Elbow and watching uh, Bee Garden. A little bit, little bit loosely, but she's technically still watching it. So that if someone were to cross, then the Astra would see them, right? Okay. So knowing all this information, like after you gather all this information, you can come to the conclusion that. The entire B site should be clear, like 99.9% .9 chance that it's going to be clear. So there's no way that the enemy could be anywhere in B sites. Then let me ask you a um, question from this, that where do you think the enemies could be? Where I think they could be. Yeah, where, where could the enemy be? Which areas are uh, not safe? Uh, Hoka? Like the, like the path you walk to and then 
strawberry fountain like near there and elbow. Okay, so first that uh, you said hookah? Yeah. You said hookah? Yeah. But the enemy can't be in hookah because your team's in hookah. Uh I mean the outside, like from they can't be on site though, because like they are all stationed at the different points. So you think the enemy can be on site, like on the site? Yeah. How? How how would you think they would get onto site? Um uh oh no maybe they will be at the their spawn area like when you walk up to the, like near the teleporter site there so you're talking okay. about the outside of big yeah like here mm, yeah okay okay that's one okay. one area what else <clears throat> what else? <laughs> okay, let's go back a bit and let's simplify that we have our Astra, right? Let's draw about where what does our, our Astra see? Our Astra sees from here to almost the entirety of site, well, half of site, the entrance to site. And we know that our team is inside Hookah, so Hookah is covered. Mm. And then now we have our rays. Who, if you look at the vision cone, this is what she sees here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all these areas, there's no way an enemy could possibly be within these areas, unless, like, otherwise the, our, our teammate would see them, right? Yeah. Maybe, but, like, be long. Be long, yeah. So our team does not have vision on belong, therefore someone could be there. Possible. Yeah. Okay, where else? Uh -huh. Um where else? Uh I guess the A teleporter, but but they aren't an A do they we can come from two places. You mean inside the A teleporter like this teleporter here? Yeah. But they didn't break I mean, they wasn't here, so there's only two places that they can enter site, though. Well, we'll, we'll ignore the teleporter because, like, if they go into the teleporter, you'll hear it. And so far, we haven't heard the teleporter yet. So there's only only two ways to enter for them. Okay, so what, what other areas are we concerned about that the enemy could be? Wait. So B long is an example. What else? We have, we have B connector, B like B link, and we have uh -huh. fountain. Okay. Right? There's no way that the enemy could be anywhere. I mean, they could be on the other side of the map, and they could be like, I don't know, they could be like sh showers or something, or someone could be waiting a short. Mm. Or maybe someone's AFK T spawn, maybe. Mm. But for now, those are not really concerned that we're making this rotation to rejoin our team and automatically, like the entirety of P site here, all this area is completely clear. That there's, there's no way that an enemy could be in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. By, yeah. by, the, by this logic, right? Because in order for them to be in this area, your, your team would have to see them first. And most likely, your team would have to like probably die first or, or something like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. knowing this, that you can basically full sprint until you get to one of these dangerous areas, like B long is a dangerous area, or uh, B link is a dangerous area, or fountain is a dangerous area. Until you get to some position that exposes you to that area, you can just run with your knife out. Okay. Let's say you decide to go elbow, you can run 100% with your knife out. Let's say you decide to come through CT, you can run with your knife out. Until you actually get to, let's say you're, you're standing inside cubby here, this little cubby, and then you peek into belong, then yeah, then you, ha then you need to have your gun out. Because someone could be belong if you're peeking from cubby. Ah, uh, okay. 
嗯嗯。So when reading the mini map, pay attention to where your teammates are positioned, what angles they're holding, what they see, and what they don't see. Right, and then ask yourself, or constantly ask yourself, where are, um, yeah, like where, where can the enemies be? Slash, um, what areas does your team not control? Slash, not have vision of. So whenever you, you look at the moon map, try to ask yourself these things, the following questions. Where is my team positioned? Oh, okay. That we have uh, we have a vase here who is like at B short. We have two teammates inside hookah. We have one person who is at elbow. Next question. What are they watching? Oh, the people in hookah aren't really watching anything, but the vase is, is peeking into feeling so much. She's peeking this area so much. And our Astra is peeking from like this angle here. Right? Mm. The next question. Where can the enemies be? The enemies could be B-Long, the enemies could be Fountain, the enemies could be B-Link. They could also be the other parts of the map, the other side of the map, but for now, that's never really a concern because we're, we're focused on rejoining our team. So we're not concerned about the other half of the map. Mm. Okay? okay? So okay. now once you have all this collected, once you've collected all this information, now you can make an educated decision about it that, oh, this area is completely safe, therefore I can run to Oppo, I can run to rejoin, like get to this inside this tube here on site with my knife out without having to worry that someone might peek me there, I might find an enemy because there's no way that you can find an enemy here. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, Go back to Shreenville C. Okay, so let's see how we play this out. One enemy remaining. So we see where Astra is like pushing into long. Okay, she spots it. Yeah. Spots it. Perfect. Okay, that bad. Okay, let me pause here. Did you notice anything? What is it again? I paused here. Let me ask you. Did you notice anything happen? Uh... There was some noise at B. There's one area there. Okay. Let's say if if you were coming to your team, that what would you say to your team? Uh, go B. I would say. <laughs> you said go B. Yeah. Hey, try to be and as specific as possible. I'll probably say B link. Okay. So let's go back and we'll see that here we're thinking, okay, we're going to put a wall. Yeah. Brenna says need help for some reason. She throws a flash. And then at this point here that the wall is up, there's nothing for us to look at. So actually we're in the exact same situation where we, let's, where, where we were rotating. In this case, we're not necessarily rotating, but we can free up our attention to look at the minimap. And try to gain as much gain as much awareness as possible. See what's happening on the map. Exactly what's happening, right? So what we can say is that we have Arena. She's peeking aggressively into B short, and she sees at least three people. She sees the Sova. She sees the Arena, and she sees the third person, which is a question mark. Okay. So from this, if you were to come to your team, you would say three. B short or three B link. 
Then we say from here, now there's at least three, now there's four, at least four. Because there were three people, yeah. B-Link, and then Urena died, and now some person was uh, at Fountain going B-Short. Mm. Okay. So now yeah. that we've collected all, all this information, now we can make a decision, right? If you're in this situation, with that information I just gave you, what do you think you should do? Mm, I should just rotate because majority of them are Or let me say, what are your options in this situation? Uh, I could go from a bag. Okay, what else? Yeah, or I could go from the teleporter or like just make a big. Yeah. Okay. What else? What, what are your other options? Let's list out all the options that you can think of and then we'll discuss which ones are good versus bad. Um, probably because there's like still one more that's like unknown delegation. So maybe I could stay A like for a little while. <clears throat> in okay. case like, yeah. Okay, if we stay A, where, where will we play? Um, I would play a buff, like, yeah, or, yeah, or showers, I mean the U-Hawk, yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's say that we have a, whoops, it's a bad color. Let's say we have a raise here, then we have a Killjoy who is back sight, and then we have an Astra who is same spot that elbow. And I ran to just pick B short and died. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the screen here. And let's talk about all the possibilities. Right, so right now we are Sage, we're here, we're S. All right. Can you see? Yep. Okay, and then we we see that there there were three people inside B Link, and there was one person from Fountain going B short. Okay. So, what are the options that you said? You said that you would go into showers. Mm. That's one, op one I can option. Go okay. So you said yeah. that we can go, we can go U-Haul. In U-Haul, where are we going to end up? Uh, watching Heaven, I guess. Go inside U-Haul, get to here, then watch Heaven? Yeah. Why Heaven? Uh, in case they come from there. I mean, can you watch Vents as well? Vents? Watch Vents? Yeah. Do you think the enemy is going to come from Vince? Actually, no. Wait. So again, that the information that we got was that there's three people, three enemies, inside B-Link that just killed Arena. Arena has died. And there's also one, one enemy who is outside of Fountain and was peeking to be short. So with this information, like, well, what are some options that we that we can or should do? Uh, I can go by, I can go by a shot to join them. Or I can use the teleporter as well. Okay, so you're going to push into teleporter? Yeah, seems like, yeah. Okay, so that's one option. What other options do we have? Or I can go by Ben. Go by vents. Yeah. So we're gonna rotate to vents, and then then where? Uh, can move to site. Like, what's tell me exactly what's the final position you're gonna end up? A uh, bikabi. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way to bikabi. Okay, what else? Or I can go elbow <clears> too. 
Or you can go elbow. Okay. What else? Yeah. Uh, I can go to B. So you said yeah. you're gonna go get to B long? Yeah, there's another option as well. How will we go from B long? Are we gonna come from this way here? We're we gonna come from this way here? This way here? Like by... We can go by A short, then the link. Okay, so, so not B long, we're gonna go to A short. Yeah. We're gonna go this way. Yeah. Okay. What other options do we have? Or, or is that it? I think that's something. Okay, so out of these options that you've, you've proposed, which one do you think is the best one? And um, explain why. I think it's either to elbow or to <clears throat> side. Because, like, there's really, like. Elbow or side? Yeah. Be? Yeah. Okay, well, why do you say that? Uh, because my teammates are at the other end, I can kind of push and support you there. Okay. Okay, what other reasons can you come up with? Or is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> what about the other options? Like, if you went teleporter, is this good or bad? Like, why is this not a top, top tier option? If I go to teleporter, you might die, I think. Maybe, yeah, okay. So that's because a risk, you might die. Them. Yeah. Okay, so how about uh, if you went B-Link? You went here, or push from A-Shorts. Then I can help you. Because Is this good or bad? Um, actually, there's three of them there. So. There's two of them there, though. Okay. So you worry about that you might run into somebody. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other things you can think of, or anything you want to add? No. Okay. So. So yeah, I would say that uh, rotating the site is your safest options. Where you go, cubby, or you go abo. Like these are all safe. But they're also like very passive positions. That you you're helping your team, you're getting value, but there okay. is potential to get more. Right? The highest yeah. value plays you can make is by going teleporter, although you, you're correct that it is pretty risky. And going uh, pushing a shard into B link. Although that is also a little bit risky or I should say, it's a, if a different type of trade-off than entering the teleporter. So the difference is that by going a short, they don't necessarily hear you going a short unless you like full sprint it, but they will always hear you going through teleporter. Mm. So the teleporter would be a lot more telegraphed. It's like the highest aggression you play you can make, and you kind of confront them like head on. Or if mm. you go a short, you can get a flank on them, get behind them. Mm. Okay, and uh, you didn't mention any options about about staying A. If you were to stay A, where would you where would you play? Um, um, I would play. <clears throat> um, uh, I think a cubby. A cubby. So you would get to here. Yeah, I will okay. play AKB. Okay. Yeah. What about what about showers? Is showers a good idea? Um. Yeah. AB. Unless they come. No. So what's wrong with showers? Why why are we afraid of showers? Uh, can I can watch either a cup or a bath, I guess. Okay, so you're saying it's, it's equally yeah. as good as cubby. Yeah. Okay, 
then if we were to go showers, where what, where will we stand inside showers, and what will we look at? We'll look at. I mean, as in, where we look at from showers. Like once we're inside showers, like what do what do we do? What do, what do we do in shower in showers? Uh, I will look towards a lobby that that direction. Okay, we're gonna look at a lobby from where? Where where are we gonna stand inside showers? Yeah. Um at the side I don't like peek a bit. So you mean here or like here or here or here? Yeah. Or here, no, in the middle? The top right side. The right side, okay. Yeah. So this one here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else you can you can think of or you that you want to add? No. Okay. So yes, I agree that that showers is, is is another option you have, and staying cubby is also another option you have, and the reason that like those become options again is because you've identified that there are three people. At, at B like and there's one person at B shorts. So already that's that's four people, right? That means that either most likely the fifth person is also with them. Like the fifth person, let's say the fifth person's here. Or well, maybe the fifth person is here. Right? Yeah. That those are the most likely possibilities the fifth person could be. That that's why you feel a lot safer to go showers, right? And you feel safer to go cubby. Whereas normally you want to go those positions if if it was like a previous round that all five of them went A short or all five of them like a bunch of action happened in showers, right? Yeah. So I want to introduce this concept to you about about map control, right? So like right now you have a lot of map control. You have a lot of options. You can almost do almost anything you want. And there's not necessarily like a, a, a right or wrong answer, but just that that one rule of thumb is that we want to take advantage of this map control as much as possible. So we know that that we see that there's four people B. Fifth person is probably B, we're not entirely sure. So he could be lurking somewhere, we're not too too sure yet. But at least four people are, are B and they've killed Urena. Therefore they're very likely to continue pushing B. They continue pushing into like a an animation again the site. Maybe they, they switch over to go B long. Right? Okay, so mm. going through your options here, your vision options that you said that you were going to rotate through CT spawn, then end up inside cubby here, or end up inside elbow here. That does help your team, but there are higher, much higher reward options, given that you have all this map control, right, that you can, that you can use. So one option is that looks really appealing is that we can pretty safely push to a short here. Like this is a really good option. That worst case, you have to fight like a 1v1. Let's say like this there's one person who happens to be standing here or something. And then while you're pushing you run into them, you kill them, whatever. And now you have like all this control. I mean actually you have all this control as well. You have all the all, like half the maps under your control. Or you 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 continue pushing and you don't see anybody. Let's say you push up to here and you get to this spot here. Right? So this is another concept that I want you to use is that you're you're helping to contain the enemy such that if the enemy decides to continue pushing on to B, let's say they get to side hookah, now you start pushing from B link and then you start pushing from B short and then you get behind them, right? As soon as they enter your sites, then probably like one or two people are gonna still be inside still be inside hookah. And then you can like easily get behind them and kill both of them, right? Uh, right. So this is like this is like a lurk or a flank that has really high value or really high reward, I should say. Wait, you like gold, right, guys? Again, Mingo, you yeah. think we should like? I don't know, because, like, I never went through any Fury when I played. I know it helped, but I feel like in lower ranks, like, just how to, like, take sides and crap, and, like, how to enter hookah, like, I feel like 
Fury is good, but like, should we show her some in-game examples? Because I feel like in lower rank, it's like very simple. Well, this this is an example here. We've taken this example so. directly from here. This is exactly what just happened about two three seconds ago. That all the sufficient that we've collected, right? Either. Is 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 what I just drew. I see. I wasn't here for that. My bad. So here I'm like, I'm presenting this this situation, and I've drawn it drawn it out here, that that uh, we have one two three teammates, like one one the killer is on site, the Astro is at elbow, and the third person the third person our raise is with us, right? And she she's actually like thinking about going to teleport actually. And that's we have all these options, right? That we can we can rotate to CT spawn. This is a more passive option, with which is much safer but also less reward. That we just we just reinforce our teammates on site on B. The other option that we've gone through is that we can sit inside a cubby. And most likely that that this will would be a better option if we expect the enemy team to rotate to A. That we can have more of an off angle on them. Although there, there are probably other Why? better options as well. Hey, KJ should just anchor shower or U haul and one rotate CT. K KJ is already on on site B. Ah, oh, well, KJ should probably be the one anchoring A. But yeah, well, one rotate, one anchor. So we're we're playing sure stage right now. We're on A. Mm -hmm. This is the just the situation that we're in. Uh huh. Throw slow orb through TP, then rotate CT. Okay, that's yeah, that's, that is another option that I haven't covered yet, is that instead of you entering the teleporter, you can just throw an ice web through the teleporter, and then ice web will land here. Right, between the teleporter and the entrance to hookah. And that would slow down any sort of push going into inside hookah. So yeah, that is another option that, that we can do, and we can actually combo this option with, with the other option, that's what I wanted to get to. So that uh, if we decide that, yeah, one really good option is that we're going to push a short, get behind them, and again, when we get to a short, we we wait until like some place that that is uh, should be safe. Like for example, we push the a short fight. At which point do we stop? We want to stop where where we know is going to be safe. This is the place that we know is going to be safe because we've seen those three people here at uh, at B link. Therefore, we we're not picking them yet. We're waiting to see what happens. Right, makes sense. So instead of like going, 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 going all the way, and then as soon as you turn here, now you, now you're in a gunfight. Instead, we just want to get as close as possible, as safely as possible, and then wait and see what happens. Get to this spot here, wait and see what happens, and then if they decide to push onto B sites, then we continue pushing behind them. If they decide to turn around, right, they decide to turn around and go toward A. Now you've got a really good, like unexpected angle, like they're. Most likely, people who, who are rotating, like they're not too focused on clearing all these. This like this angle here, this angle here, like this angle here, this angle here, like all these random angles. They'll be a lot more focused once they get closer to the site. Once they're around a shrine, then they start getting a lot more focused. That okay, I need to clear, I need to clear U Haul, or I need to clear uh, general area of sites, or I need to clear like Tetris, or I need to clear Heaven. Right, that's where they're gonna start sending their utility but they're less likely to use utility to clear this this area this area this area this area All right so again like this is like high value because you're catching them by surprise hey minka Hello? christian yes can you check your dms for a second okay oh, okay Okay. So then, uh, let's see. So, okay. So let's simplify this a bit. Then let's say that your your safe options are to rejoin your team. Your aggressive options are to push behind them because you know that it's just going to be pretty safe. And the third option is to go through teleporter, or or rather, send an ice web through teleporter because you can gain value by sending ice web through teleporter.
Does that make sense? Any questions so far? Um, right, should I just continue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so back to the video. Just wanted to point out all the all the options because it's like these moments of like when things happen, then we need to like think about like what can we do? What's what's a good option that we can go with? Okay, so we turn to the team. You see that a bunch of stuff is happening. The silver dot has happened. The team needs help to ACP. Oh, what? How did they get to CT? That's just a team issue. It's not. You did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Even I'm confused about how how this enemy appeared. You did nothing wrong. That's literally just a team issue. Very strange. Okay, yeah. It's still by wall each time. Like I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Some comp games where you're playing retake simulator the whole time, it's just rough. Yeah. You know. uh, I think no, the I whole think game, like fire. you are rotating every round. Oh, oh Jesus. I'll show you how to wall later because they can just jump over that wall now. Like this. People yeah. usually yeah, go to the wall now. Yeah, because they did changes. Yeah. Here I would actually say keep your gun out because your wall hasn't like really broken yet. That the only way they can get over this is if they jump on the boxes there. Did you break your CS Lord? Yeah, and then like wait, wait for the wall to break, and then you can slow orb. Because like, there's no way anyone can walk no, on no, that no. yet. Play safe. Always play defense on defense, especially on sentinel. Spike down A. <laughs> You probably could have reloaded, but not a big deal. Okay. In this situation, your teammates are already watching shells. So yeah. Yeah, I should just focus watch more on each way. Yeah. I'd never watch shells with a spectre anyway, it's too long range. Yeah. I'll just tuck into. Actually, it's kind of rough. You gotta watch the cross for your team as well. Like even in this situation here, what I would say is that we have bomb down. Then Arena is like, I'm gonna push into showers, and then she spots the Sova. That already I'll be thinking that I should look for a chance to get into a short. Like once I get into a short, then I can I can abuse all these close range angles with my Spectre. But if I'm yeah. on site, I have to deal with like a long range fight from. Um, here looking at showers for example, or here looking down toward uh, toward a short that those are much longer engagements that are not favorable to a specter. The second thing you want to do is that you want to see if anyone's like still here because like that we put a wall, put ice. No one has breaking the wall. The put wall kind of like kind of broke like on on its own. We saw the silver. Especially on central. We saw the silver on a shorts, and then we saw the rain on a shorts, but it seemed like. And 10 plus seconds later, they haven't actually committed to it. Okay. So like even at this point, like the Silva is, is actually was rotating to the showers, and that's how he he, he finds Urena. So yeah, I would, I would consider not necessarily like full committing, like just like full splitting, thinking that Ishroid is clear because it's not just a player, but just like taking a quick peek just to see if anyone's there, and then then you can consider if if you want to push into Ishroid or not.
But yeah, but like, uh, like good night mentioned that left. you probably don't want to be focused on like watching over showers when your team is already watching showers, and it's also like a long range of games that you don't know really gonna win. Just stay on your toes. Still jump. Yeah, they're buying every round, so I guess buy every round. Get out of my way. Recovering it. Find out if they push it. Taking that back. That's one B. Spike oh, it's Spike. B. Yeah, it's B. <clears throat> Astra, I hate you, bro. You did some arrow. Healing you. Uh, Rifty, what are you getting? I hate you, Spike. You gotta help the Astra. Yeah, help the Astra. Who you raise ACP? Fuck you, chili. Garlic. I'm cross it up a little bit. Yeah, is it like barbecue, chili, garlic, and then mixed meat? People usually get just lamb though. Spike I, planted. I like. Yeah, they rotated. Yeah, this is spending too much time he walking through, through B. Yeah. I mean, don't save, don't save. Just try to get kills or we'll die. You don't want to save Spectre. You've lost a couple of rounds. Try to die. Take his gun, actually. They, they get back for the gun. There could be a short. Keep it going out. You can still reach it. Yeah, never save a Spectre. You usually get more money get if you die to the bomb. Oh, oh yeah, Spectre. Yeah, I know that was you having a spectre on this thing. If you die at a bomb, you get 1900, but a spectre only costs 1600. Placing sentry. So, only save a spectre if you're like saving shields as well or something. Wait, Uchi, do you get mixed meat? Or just lamb? Do you get mixed meat? Of course. Imagine people who get just chicken. That's one thing I've never seen before. I've had that before, just chicken. Is it nice? It tastes the <laughs> Like the same. Right, so we see two garden. Belongs is lost. Now Astra has trapped herself in sights. Again, like during this rotation, we should keep our keep our eyes on the mini map until we get to a lot of here. Until like we can actually get to a good fight. Yeah, again, like you just wanna not take oh, yeah. long range engagements with respect there. Instead of actually would have been better like in the previous round you actually rotated to to, to elbow, like probably like you should just do the same thing there because you want to look for close range engagement as much as possible. Yeah, good at long. Yeah, and you don't want to be slow walking while you're crossing, like the CT door thing. Here you hear three people in shorts. That's a good slow. Unfortunately, you really got sprayed to the smoke. You should consider picking up her gun. I also don't want to stand here because there's no escape. So, adding on to this is that, again, that we have another Spectre and we know that there's people at A shorts and we, we've slowed down their push, although they could push after the ice ice dissipates or after the smoke dissipates. But we have, like, let's say, like 10 seconds to like pick, about what, pick a position that we want to stand in. And if given an option, because we have a Spectre, we want to pick the, the closest possible position. One such position is just like holding like almost point blank with the with the smoke here. Like like directly in front of you. If you just hug that wall, then that's like a really guaranteed close range fight if someone were to push through smoke. In my opinion, you just play retake here. You got two people rotating. Your was it your sober? I don't know what your teammate was. Your teammate died, so just tuck into U Haul or something. Give yeah. them like a short. You have your KJ stuff set up, just play a four V five retake. Because if you try fight them, you're just fighting a 1v4. Your killjoy is doing shit all here, she's literally. She's angry, yeah. which is fair enough. So I reckon you hide here. Like, go back into mm -hmm. CT even, or just go U Haul and play the 4v5. You got a KJ set up. Yeah, yeah. that is good. Uh, good points. Okay. Okay. So, you do have the option of playing retake. So, probably if, if you hold lamps, for example, then the retake becomes significantly easier because as your teammates 
come back to to rotate over your Reno, your Astro from from B sites that they can do so without having to worry about lamps or, or U-Haul because you're standing in U-Haul and you're already covering U-Haul. So therefore, they can rotate even faster, right? And they can get position faster. Yeah. And then once the retake happens, they also have more options, right? They can also choose to push through U-Haul with you. Why was it? So yeah, yeah, all good points. So fortunately, we just took the engagement that we shouldn't have taken. Excellent. You should buy two slow up. Ah, sorry. Okay, shoot the dark. That's gonna ping you. Might wanna shoot. At this point, you should reposition because the dark has <laughs> pinned you. They know exactly where you are. Once they know where you yeah. are, it's gonna be much easier for them to deal with you. Right. That sage basically yeah. didn't have to look anywhere else because they know exactly where you are. A different position. Ask your team. <clears throat> right, so here we see one Yilong garden, and that's a garden on fountain. It's two people jo one person nice, drone nice from the shore, it's two people be shorts. It's a very nice blue. Spike down B. But here I, I would like I would ignore purple. like once you wall this, the point of this wall is to ensure that like they they don't push like the wall, right? And they ensure that they don't push the garden. Therefore while the wall is standing, you can focus your attention somewhere else. Right? Like, if you look at where where on the map needs your attention the most, like which area on the map like needs the most amount of help, it's Urena. The Urena is like stuck inside Huko with a shotgun, but she doesn't really have any escape. She might be able to dismiss, but she's not going to be able to dismiss out of Huko. And she's... Let's see, like around here that she spots a drone, right? That means that Silver is, is B short. And then now that there's a gunfight happening at B short. So instead of like just spending time just like looking at this wall, instead we should go to Hookah to reinforce our teammates and be a part of the fight ASAP. Right, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Tantalite. It's, it's a very nice blue. Spike down B. Now there's two more people. Now there's a Sova plus a Reyna because we heard the heard and saw the Reyna flash inside Huka. In the purple. Yeah, and now that? actually this this Asher smoke is like a little bit too early because it actually helps the enemy team. The enemy team as they they push in, they no longer have to worry about you, right? Because you you actually smoked off from this, because of this Asher smoke. So now it's like even more crucial that you or someone goes into there to help your Reyna ACP. Right. On a ring. <laughs> so now, like, no, now your rain is dead, and now you kind of got no value out of that. You weren't able to help her. Why would you find a two cheaps tomorrow? I think they're gonna know we saw you. Oh, you're nuts. You yeah, that's So this round is mostly just like a little bit again, like two passive ring. like. Nice. Blue like there's there's things her. happening on the map, and then we're just kind of just sitting on site, waiting, like playing really. Really, really reactively instead of proactively. So instead of like waiting for the enemy to come to you, like waiting to get to this point where now you're forced oh. to, to deal with like two people in front of you. Now it's actually three people because the jet was at, um, looking at elbow. That instead you should try to be more proactive in, in joining fights with your team. If your teammate is in a fight, try to join it ASAP. And if, if that teammate dies, then think about. Like go back the the previous five to ten seconds, like say like here, no, right? Put that, put that on a ring. <laughs> the teammate dies, right? Rena dies. Instead of thinking that oh Rena dies, well too bad. Go back five ten seconds or fifteen seconds, and think about like was there any cues that could have told me like oh I could have like helped my Rena, or that my my Rena was in danger and I could have ran over to help her, right? Right. The cue was that the silver the silver drone, and then the next cue is that. Now we see two people be shorts, right? Oh, that's nice. Tantalite. It's, it's a very nice blue. Spike down B. It's like blue with hints of purple. 
that on a ring. <laughs> so, yeah, try not to be too passive. Try to, like, pay attention to, like, Especially what's going on. Sick. When is the fight happening? Just, like, try your best oh, to be a part of that fight. Shoot. Electrocuting. Phoenix. Oh, wait, what's it? Yeah. Multiple enemies beat. They want to help your raise because your raise is in a gunfight, right? Don't just look at her, like, help her. I mean, A looks fine. Look at the map, it's a high chance for going B side. Because they're just trained. I need to do that too. Yeah, actually, right right yeah. Look at the map, it's a high chance for going B side. Because they're just trained. Here we're just looking at it right now. And then when we're looking at our teammates, like, pay attention to what I like to call body language. Like, looks originally, fun. she's just like, she has a map up. You guys just like looking at each other. Brings out her shotgun. Then she brings a flash, right? And then, her, then she like looks at the wall with her flash. Meanwhile, the wall is being broken, right? So this to me like tells me that this van is about to flash. That's that, that's what I should expect within the next few seconds. That she's bringing out her, her flash, like she's equipping her flash in her hand because she wants to flash. So that's reading body language. And then once we've realized that this this thing is about to happen that this flash is about to go off in the next few seconds, that we should think about what we can do to play off of this flash, or what we can do to contribute to this flash. Right, so when she flashes, for example, we can like, we can peek aggressively with it, or we can at least like peek to like, see like, what, see who and how many people are belong, for example, pretty safely, because they're all, they're all going to be blinded. Right, does that make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. You can see a wall breaks, then she flashes, then actually she pushes with the flash too. So that's another indicator that she's when my team my team is playing aggressive, this Vayne is playing aggressive, I also want to play aggressive. I wanna like be a part of the action. She's she's about to like get into a gunfight. When she does get into a gunfight, I wanna help her. With whatever whatever I can do. Maybe I can just, just be there so that when she shoots at somebody, I'm also shooting at that person. Okay. Right so that, she, she's shooting at somebody, and now we're a little bit too late because now she's already retreated to cover, sure. right? So another another tip is that when my teammate, there's, there's times that our teammate is is in in the action, right? But here, it's like she's in the action, she's shooting, she's she sees the Reina. That's the time that that's the window of opportunity that we can get maximum value, right? By by being part of this action happening right now. And then but then, now she says, oh, I'm reloading, yeah. and she's behind cover, now she's no longer part of the action. Now it's like, semi-risky for us, or slightly riskier for us, to play aggressive, right? So as soon as we decide to peek, now this Vayner can't really help us. Instead, now we're actually in another 1v1. So, timing is, is important as well. Now we're, we're actually in a, a long-range game that we actually didn't want to take with respect to. Okay, now she has a flash out again. She peeks aggressively. Unfortunately, we're just too late. She just missed away. Here we can res, just res behind you. You can probably just wait. We can res behind you. But I would just wait because the res behind you will probably die. One enemy remaining. Now you know last guy's in or was in the uh, at fountain, but the bombs down each right. So just, yeah, just pick up your guns, pick up the operator. Definitely pick up the operator and give it to your teammate. Just 
Simmons Blood Party. You want to play? Let's play. Okay, so we see Sora and his shards. We hear the chamber alt, so we have to be really careful about operators. So far this has been a really early rotate. Now we see two people, three people. At this point we should be looking to like use a wall, like ACP. So like well even like in this situation here, like we have all five players alive. And we stop inside vents that probably instead of like because of the situation here you're you're forced to to watch over showers. Imagine if you already walled showers, then you don't have to like pay attention to showers until the wall breaks, right? So think about your wall to to help isolate angles for you. Think of it as like a a much more powerful smoke that stops enemies from pushing or it's, or slows enemies from pushing. Meanwhile, you can like focus your attention elsewhere. And same thing with your your ice orb, like. With your ice orb, it also slows people down for three to five seconds, and by by slowing people down, they're, they're less likely to push through the ice. Therefore, you can focus your attention on ultra for those three to five seconds. Right? Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So now the, the enemy team is like swarming for a short. By the way, I would, I would just think like just shoot shoot an ice web into showers and then pick a short with your team to help them ACP. Spike down a. You can also res, but if you're really careful, make a shot in the back. Yeah, just like that. Last player standing. So again, like think about your utility as like as as deterrent so that you can you can isolate these engagements. So you don't have to worry about things while a wall is up, a wall the ice is, is is like on the enemy, right? So like if you wanted to go for this res, that you want to make it safe by icing areas that the enemy can push from. Like for example that jet, she pushed to showers. So if you just do it icing showers, like right now, and then you go for this res, like this would be like super safe. Last player standing. So bullet points, try to think of, or try to use your, your utility to help you isolate angles. Focus on other angles while Just your utility is active. Round before the switch. Uh, yeah, that's more specific to, to stage utility. Oh, just use your wall bathroom. It's better in bathroom. But it's after the nerf. It's <clears> no point in the boarding shot. There might be a tiny gap in this wall. You will not kill my Shall I test it? Time. Nowhere to run. Probably be. Yep, when to be ACP, they're already on site. Oh, lift across there up a bit. That's better. Peek of this Astro, and the Astro shoots us so many, we shoot as well. Too late. So, so far, they just kind of go back to the previous bullet point that when our team gets to a gunfight, try to predict when our team may get to a gunfight, and then when they do get to a gunfight, that we're, we're there as soon as possible to help them. Always Sage, wall on pistol round. We're just looking like our rays is about to jump out the window. The rain is flashing. Even on the ice, they just they're just holding everything with ice. Therefore, we need to like push ACP. Concealment, blocking vision. Pathetic. Like she already killed someone. She got into a gunfight. More CT Reloading. somewhere. Wall 
Okay, good wall. But now, like, while this wall is active again, you don't have to, like, look at your wall. Until your wall breaks, you don't have to look at it. It says, like, look at other areas that the enemy could come from. Yeah, like Puka, for example. Nice. Yeah. CT, CT, CT. Shot. Last one, CT. Last guy's elbow. Wait, perfect. Yeah, we are set him first. I set him first. Did she say something? No, no. Oh, okay. Wanna help her arena, help her raise. Same thing as last one, like they're already on sites. And if a fight's about to happen. This one to your left. Okay, the person's dead. So, while this wall is active, like, you have a spectre. Don't even, don't even bother looking at the wall. Look at other places, right? All the places the enemy could be is elbow, like the arena is in a gunfight. So I would think that I want to run over to arena ACP and help her ACP. One enemy remaining. Last guy's uh, elbow. Yep. Okay. I think you guys are going A. Eh? Help arena, arena, she's yeah. going in. You know where the wall, right? It's a wall truck. They got to stop pushing out. Yeah, she's already cleared the whole site. The only, person, only place to check now is just heaven. They have any smokes. Yeah, bomb is plant. Yeah, keep. You have to wall truck. Just plant. Just plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get planted down this fast. Yeah. Probably I wouldn't even need to wall. Just plant right away because your team has so much control of site already. Let's go CT spawn. Let's up a marshal. Peek with our team. You can just run. Run and shoot him. Kill just going in. One going two. Go, 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 go. Nice. Good job. Good timing. So that's that's the thing I want to yeah. see like more often. Like whenever our uh, teammates like going in, we want to go in too. Like see how much yeah, better that round was compared to like. Other rounds where you kind of just like waited for people to die, waited for the enemy to come to you. Uh, I think I play better on attack last night <laughs> than defend. Yeah, it's gonna play play aggressive. Oh, nice. Nice. Get out of my way. Yeah, not much you could have done there. Aren't I you? mean, you ideally you peek together, but it's hard because you're, you're slowed and they're slowed as well. Aren't you? Yeah. Too easy. Too easy. But yeah, here I would just pick up the guns and go, go A. <laughs> or if you don't want the guns, then just go directly to A. Uh, oh. No, definitely go to A, because now for yeah, sure sprint, sprint to A. the last two people are, are B, so you They're can both just, on B. Yeah, run. you just run to A and immediately. Same ball. Yeah. After oh, you plant, be careful about having... What's the truth? So once you plant and then you start moving to almost anywhere outside of sites that you'll be exposed to heaven, right? This is the only angle to worry about as you're running to wherever you're running to. Right? Makes sense? Because the, the wall has blocked off all the angles except yeah. heaven. So just make sure that after you plant the bomb in this this situation that you keep your, your crosshair focused on heaven while you go to wherever you plan on going. I like the idea to play lamps. Oh, can I see nearly TP? I don't like this that you're moving away from lamps though, because yeah. yeah. Now this is another 
Yeah. Mid mid to long range fight. One enemy remaining. Plus. You do get the kill though. So that's pretty fortunate. You should reposition to spike now. So move where spike is, like stand on it. Just get ready to. You gotta like you can't stay in the same spot. Here I would just you hear him spraying at at uh, at lamps. I would just ice ice lamps right now and then just like run away. And that way I'll basically guarantee that he can't defuse the bomb. He's in evil. Should yeah. TP. There's always you're gonna, you're gonna die to the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You need to get the wall. Concealment. Destroying vision. Reloading. Anything, but something I like to do is that when my team is breaking a section of the wall, I like to break another section of the wall. Just so it's, it makes it easier for your team to like push this. Okay, so instead of just like having just one wall, one section of the wall broken, then your team kind of funnels through it. Instead, of just break, break another section. Now you have your team can like has more options. Yeah. And like around this time, like like around five seconds later, like you could have broken another another section of the wall. And then you make it easier for your your Rainer to push in, your Asher to push in, you to push in as well. Yeah, attack immediately, wall immediately. Wall, go for res. Just res, res ASAP. Sage on your right. Nah, I don't think I did. Sage, right. Oh, I think I beat that someone. Like, like, yeah. I got beat that. At this point, now you can just save the res. Well, so far, Irena has been, like, playing really aggressive every single round. So, like, mm. try to pick up on this and, like, when... When my teammate has like shown that they're playing really aggressive, I can expect them to play continue playing aggressive. Then you can like try to match more more easily match your your speed to their speed. Right, so like automatically like the round started, he's already she's already picking from main shorts, doesn't see anybody. Then already already she's running in again with a flash out in her hand. Right, just looking at her like, through the wall, since she's flashing. I think she's peeking, right? And mm. she's she's playing really aggressive. Again, when a team playing plays aggressive, we can also play aggressive. Because like if this Rainer gets to a gunfight, we're at least like five seconds behind to actually join that gunfight. Piece of shit. And unfortunately she she died and we really helped able to help her. Sage, can, can you res me? Yeah, I res can you res me? So when you res someone, like, like wait until they're fully res before you start playing aggressive, right? So that you're not really, like, you're playing aggressive by yourself. That person that you that you just res is not able to help you until like, and like three seconds later when they the, the res animation finishes and then they have the gun in their hands finally. Or you could just wall and res. You could also uh, just wall and res. Uh, oh no, actually we beta, then uh, it's a good trade, I think. Mm. Right. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you, have, you do have multiple options. Like the safest option is easily just wall and that will guarantee the res. But if you just want to get the res off, then just make sure that when you res, that you're in position to actually, actually bait the res. Like, don't actually mm. run in front of the res, and then you act as the bait. Just let the res person be the bait, and then when they get shot at, then you swing out and you kill that person. You, you like, avenge mm. their death, right? Mm. 
It's the ultimate black <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, I'll see what she says. No. Good <laughs> drawing. Seriously, that's a good try and everything, but I can just clearly see the date. I know, I know, you can see it. <laughs> Too lazy to fuck Reloading. She might want the targets. You know what? Thank you. Good, change it, I dare you. Okay. No, you can't. Spike down, B. Spike's here. I have this bike. Oh, uh, one in TV. No, oh, don't send it. I take a picture. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I might to die to the, to the jet in the time. You know Good. Mm. Change it. I dare you. Okay. No Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so let's just make oh, an extra. Yeah. That's too deep. But he was running and stuff. It's more so just like. Oh, one in I, I go in here like your your aim is just a bit off and you also spring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then we want to get closer to Arena. Arena's like been going in. She's peeking you short now. If she gets to a gunfight, we we'll to make sure we're in the fight together. She died, I think. Oh, can a key wants to Discord with you? Yes, evolve, evolve. Oh my oh, god, yeah, what wrong Oh, never mind. Yes. So, tiny paper is that evolve, evolve. when you're getting ulted by Silva, instead of having your gun out, oh, you missed the wall. like right here, you have your gun out, that you should actually switch to your knife so that you have a better chance of dodging his ultimate. Because you, you run faster if you knife, right? So you want to be like at mm -hmm. top speed at all times as much as possible while he's targeting you mm -hmm. with his ult to make it harder for him to hit you with his ult. If you have your gun out, you move much slower so you're a much easier target. Okay? Just... And also like, yeah, try to move unpredictably so that it becomes harder to, uh, him to hit you. Crack. Just press. Phoenix is suffering. <laughs> he don't pop leave. Yeah, oh my god. Look at oh, so you left, you left. <laughs> yeah, the jet no. kept playing there. That was actually unfortunate. You... <laughs> we didn't cut oh, it off though. Is that a boost with chicken piece? I think chicken is too big in that. Like, it's not bad. But I've seen chicken pieces cut too far, too far away from me. Is... Uchi, I'm only gonna be Shaver. Yes, I was like, trying to catch up. <laughs> just like, so yeah, I'm just literally like it's the plan. <laughs> Help me invest in Uchi. Like a rule of thumb is that you want to be like almost hugging distance of, of whoever that that you're trying to play with, right? So here, like, think about like, how far apart that you and your Reza are, right? You're really far apart. Yeah, just like kind of catch up. Yeah. So like, oh, I get, chicken pieces, like get so close that you're able to like Uchi, almost, I almost like shaver. knife the rays. Like, like that's how close you want to be, Uchi. so that when an, the like rays gets to a fight, you're, you're there. Right away, like it's you can join it. Help me invest in it. You can come over there once we can use it. <laughs> one thing, one. I'm gonna see you in an apron and a massive ass beard. <laughs> the, the apron says for chef. <laughs> No, no, we we'll both have aprons. Oh, chef one, chef two. <laughs> <laughs> She's going in. There you go. Time to go. Yep, do your thing. Do a wall, plant, whatever you want. So who's this Kaneki? Mr. Sky. Oh, Mr. Skies. Mr. Skies. Last guy slammed. Mm hmm. Yeah, Rain, guy Rain was going in there. She's going in. We should go together. Oh, they left. Oh, please. Okay. 
He plays the same angle. The chain was really bad. Corina have a raise. Let's see how, how deep a raise is. Already on site. Ball CP. Barrier Reloading. Oh no. Oh, actually, really good ice. Do you have a gun? One there, one hook. Found them. Nice. Last player standing. Yeah, that was a tough situation. I think um, with playing copy here, there's like a lot of angles like to worry about. Do you have a gun? Because like you're exposed to CT, you're exposed to um, elbow, and then if you move in a tiny bit like this right here, right? Like about even like right here. Now you're also exposed to hookah. Like there's already three angles to worry about. So automatically, I'll, I'll probably think about or consider repositioning to somewhere safer, or think about how I can try to make it so I can o I only have to focus on one angle at a time. Okay. Right. Nice. Nice. Oh. No, he got it. No, what? Oh, he won. He literally oh. could have found his spot. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay, so let's go through some some quick notes that I took. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, so some of the major issues is, is just like mechanics, general mechanics, like the cross your placement. Is, many times it's, it's not where it really is where it should be. Try to keep it at head height as much as, much as possible. Keep it focused mm -hmm. on where the enemy could be, right? The enemy can possibly be around, peeking from around corners, right? But they can't really peek from through a wall. They can't peek from like the floor. So, so there's no point in like looking at the floor. Instead, just keep it at like around the corner. Mm. And then for the smooth aim, like many times your aim is not really smooth. It's like extremely jittery. And it's like really prevalent in like, like one of those beginning rounds where you're pushing into into showers and uh, you were like trying to keep your crosshair tied to a wall but it was like jumping back and forth and eventually you get to a gunfight with the jet and your, your crosshair is still like all over the place basically so probably that your, your positivity is, is probably too high that you should probably lower it a bit so that the smoothness becomes like easier or your mouse becomes easier easier to control mm. okay and so next bullet point is that this this happened for many many rounds that whenever like a gunfight is happening around the map try your best to be a part of those fights like like don't just watch your teammates die trying to try to make sure that you're able to contribute as much as possible to as many fights as possible so there were like a couple of rounds for example that uh you were playing on on, on b sites and then you walled off uh, garden, which is great, but then you kind of just kind of sat there, and then meanwhile, your raise pushes uh, into the teleporter. Your Reyna gets heavily pressured inside Hookah, and she finds herself into like a one v two, one v three, and then then both of those players like die, and now two two your teammates die, and then then you just continue like waiting on site, and eventually the enemy team pushes off the site. Now you're in a one v two, one v three yourself, right? And then now now you die, and now now the round's lost. So instead of like playing passively, instead of playing reactively, waiting for things to happen, or waiting for the enemy to come to you, like think about what we can do proactively. What can we do like right now to help our team? And also mm. think about like think about which of our teammates is about to get to a gunfight. Like which of them looks like they're 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 playing really aggressive, and try to play aggressive with them. Right? If they're if teammates in a gunfight, right? That's aggression. We want to be a part of that aggression. Right? Okay. And fourth bullet point is try to use your stage utility to help you isolate angles. You, for the most part, you have the right idea that you want to use stage while well like chokes. You want to use ice orb whenever you see enemies so that it becomes really difficult for them to push. But when your utility is active, when your wall is active, like you don't have to stick stick around. Like the wall is up, they're not gonna be able to walk through your wall, right? Unless they're like jet or something, like they, they can jump over the wall. But for most agents, they can't just like walk through a wall. They have to like they have to actually shoot the wall, right? Before they actually 
like before you yeah, before you worry about um someone pushing mm. the wall, they have to break the wall first. Mm. And then okay. once the enemy is like ice, for example, then it's like nobody can deal with ice unless I don't know, maybe jet can can dash out of it. But most people can't really push through ice. So for the three to five seconds that ice is active, or the forty five seconds that your sage wall is active, right? Spend your your attention on elsewhere. So for example, if you if you ice off showers, now you don't have to look at showers anymore for forty five seconds. Now the rest of the round for the rest of the time you can spend your spend your attention elsewhere like look at a short mm. or, you, okay. or you can like rotate to some, some some other site for example yeah. same thing with your, your ice orb just kind of think of your ice orb as like a uh almost like a a shorter wall a mini wall that lasts like five seconds so that yeah if you want to protect yourself like there's one round that you were on a site you wanted to go for a res but there was showers that you were watching and then if you go for the res, you're not able to watch showers while you're resing, right? So instead, you should throw an ice rope into showers, make sure that like showers are safe for those five seconds while you get the res off, and make that res like super safe. Likewise, like when you're there are a couple of rounds where you were you planted the bomb on, on B sites and you wall off CT, well, you don't have to look at CT anymore. Until until that wall breaks, like CT is not a concern. Instead, Look at other angles. Look at elbow. Look at hookah. Look at belong. Right. Mm, so okay. for these four bullet points, try to think about these like as much as possible, like every round if possible. About like try to be in as many fights as possible. Try to make sure that your mechanics are on point. Make sure your crosshair is at head level. Make sure that when you use your utility, that you don't just stick around until like. Kind of doing nothing but do do other things like be like multitask while your utility is, is active all right any questions so far no okay so on to the the minor bullet points these are not as big of a deal but improving these would, would help a lot that uh, while you're rotating for example especially if you're rotating fast and safe you don't have to like then you don't have to worry about running into an enemy Instead, just like keep your attention on the, on the mini map, like in, like focus on your awareness, right? Just pay mm -hmm. attention to what's happening around you instead of just, oh, I need to look at exactly where I'm going. Yeah. And then when you do read the mini map, there's so much information that you can get from the mini map that that you, it just basically just gives you so much information that's like super useful, right? And tells you where your teammates are. Like pay attention, pay attention to where your teammates are, pay attention to what angles they're holding, and what your teammates see and what they don't see. Right? Yeah. Like, based on this this information that you've gathered from the minimap, then you can ask yourself, where can the enemies be? Right? In the one in that yeah. uh, the previous example that we talked about, where we paused it like right when a teammate died, right? Because it, our teammates saw four people, then the all man answers the question that that we know exactly where our team is positioned, we know exactly which areas that our team has under control, we know exactly what angles that they're holding, so therefore that like this part of the map, like all of B site, is safe. Until someone dies, until like the Astro dies, like B is safe. There's no way they can get into B unless Astro sees them first. And if they, if she sees them first, then that's gonna show up on the minimap. And again, like with all this information that, that you gather from, from the minimap, then we can make a decision, an, 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 ed, an educated decision about what do we want to do? Do we want to rotate? Do we want to push somewhere? Do we want to find knife out? Do we help this teammate, help that teammate? Right? We, we can think about like who's most likely to be in a gunfight. Oh, I should help that person because that person is, is, that's the person that's going to be playing aggressive. This person's playing aggressive. I should go help them. Right? Well, mm -hmm. this person's being pressured. I should go help them. Okay. So minimap is like super important. So much information from the minimap. Um, so the last bullet points is that when you go for a res, try to play a bit more passive when the res is going off. Like just like wait. Or if you want to be like super safe about it, then use like spend the wall, and that will like more or less kind of guarantee the res. But otherwise, wait until the res finishes, and then you can like play aggressive. Then you can like push, so that. 
it's instead of like before where you res and you push, well, you're basically pushing by yourself because that person you res can't really help you. They're stuck in this like res animation for three to five seconds and then they can't really help you for three to five seconds. Mm. Okay. All right, any questions so far? Uh, no. All right. Oh, I think uh, like your your thought process during like rotations is really good. There's sometimes that most people they they don't really realize that they they should be rotating, but every time you rotated, you did pretty well. That there was action. You, you realize that there was action happening, or you had a really good gut feel, feeling. Even if you if you know, even if your teammate ne didn't necessarily see anything, or you didn't necessarily see anything in the minimap, you had a pretty good gut, gut feeling about rotations. So that's pretty good. So yeah, a couple of times mm -hmm. that yeah, you're on B sites and you rotate really fast. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if there's no other questions, then I'll stop here. Yeah. Uh, Mingo. What's up? I'd like you to watch a clip of mine, and I'd want your advice okay, on how. Time. 